Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my beautiful people welcome back again to my channel thank you so much for clicking if you are new here you're welcome and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button subscribe to host TV like my video comment down below and share with your friends and family Jazakumullahu khairan Inshallah, in today's video, I'm going to continue about Umul Mu'minin Aisha radiallahu anha. In my last video, we gather few information about her being the one of the greatest scholars we have in Islam or we had. And actually, we are still benefiting from her knowledge because her narrations are still valid till today. She narrated so many hadith about prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam she was the most beloved wife of the prophet and her father was also the most beloved friend of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so in today's video i will discuss about the marriage how did she become the wife of the prophet inshallah everything you need to know about their marriage and how she become the wife of the prophet you will get them in this video inshallah so keep watching and stay tuned salam alaikum la yazal al khayr hayyan la yazal inna fi al dunya salaman wa dhilal akhbir al ayyam anna fi wisal qum bina wa anzur li ayat al jamal qum bina wa anzur li ayat al jamal Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim the marriage of Aisha radiallahu anha the story of their marriage started after the death of Khadija bin Khawili who was Khadija Khadija was the first wife of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and she was the wife that the prophet loved and didn't marry any woman when she was alive the prophet got married late he married at the age of 25 to an elderly woman Khadija she was older than the prophet for 15 years like when she was 40 the prophet was 25 so the prophet got married to her and she was a good wife she supported the prophet financially and in all ramifications anyway after her death the prophet felt the pain and like he was so lonely and also in that year he lost his uncle as well so those two people were very supportive and were with the prophet even when everyone was against him Khadija was also the first person to accept prophet muhammad as the messenger of allah she believed in him she was the first woman to believe in prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam so the prophet wasn't feeling fine after her death he was very sad and unhappy so there was a woman who came to console the prophet she came over to to console him about being happy so she suggested to him she said ya rasulallah i suggest you to marry what was the name of this woman she was khola bin til hakim so she suggested that ya rasulallah why can't you just marry Allah like can't you just I feel like you should be married to someone else that can cater for you and also to take care of your four girls she after she has their remaining four girls and they were little then not really mature so she said a woman that can take care of these children and also you as yourself so the prophet said so who are you suggesting do you have anyone then she said in shita thayyib or in shita bikran or in shita thayyib if you wish i can get you a virgin and if you also wish i can get you someone who has been married like who has already been married maybe a divorcee or a widow anyway thayyib means someone that has been married before so the prophet said who is the virgin she said the daughter of your friend of your most beloved friend aisha then the prophet said, okay, then who is the Thayyib, already married woman? So she said, so that been to Zama. And also, she also told the prophet that, so that been to Zama believed in you, and she also followed what you are following. So she was a Muslim, and she was an elderly woman, and also can take care of the children. 
So the prophet said, okay, can you inform their parents about this? Tell them I'm interested. So the first parents, Khawla bint al-Hakim went to was the parents of Aisha. So when she got there, she said, Salaamu Alaikum. Mother, adkhal Allahu Alaikum min khayri wal barakah. Do you know or what do you think Allah has singled you out with from his blessings and bounties? Um, Roman, the mother of Aisha was like, what would that be? What is the information? What is the good news? Then she said, the prophet has sent me here to you to propose to Aisha, to propose to her. Then Um, Roman was happy, but as a good wife, she didn't conclude yet. So she said, we will wait till my husband comes back, till he returns, so we can inform him and he will make the final decision on that. So when Abu Bakr Siddiq came, the father of Aisha, she also said, Mother, khalallahu alaykum bin khayru wal barak. Abu Bakr Siddiq said, what is that? What's the good news? Then she said, the prophet said he's interested, so he offered marriage proposal to your daughter Aisha. Abu Bakr Siddiq respond was different. He didn't just say, oh, mashallah, yes, yes, no. He said, is my daughter lawful for, for my brother? Like, is it lawful for my daughter to marry my brother? Imagine the closeness. They love themselves. I mean, the Prophet and Abu Bakr, they were so much close that they, they, they are not seeing themselves as friends anymore. They see themselves as brothers. So he told um, Khawla bin Til Hakim that he's my daughter lawful for my brother. Then Khawla didn't know the reply. She had to go back to the Prophet and informed him about what Abu Bakr Siddiq said. When she got to the Prophet, the Prophet said, Yes, we have brothers in Islam and his daughter is lawful for me. I can marry his daughter. So Khawla bin Til Hakim went back to inform Abu Bakr Siddiq about Prophet response. Abu Bakr Siddiq has not concluded yet. It's not like he didn't like the offer, but do you know what happened? He told Khawla bin Til Hakim to wait for him that he will be back. When he left, Umar Oman, the wife of Abu Bakr Siddiq, informed Khawla that, yes, Aisha has already been engaged to someone, um, the son of Mut'im Bon Abi, Zubair. So, um, Aisha mother told her that Aisha has been engaged to Zubair Bon Mut'im. So, Abu Bakr Siddiq is going there to, to inform these people if they are still interested in our daughter. So, he did not want to accept Prophet Muhammad's proposal just like that because he has already promised someone about marriage to Aisha. So when Abu Bakr Siddiq got there, this was all narrations from Aisha, what they allow on her. So when Abu Bakr Siddiq got there, he asked the parents of Zubair bin Mat'im, he met the two parents and asked them that, I come to you because you mentioned your daughter and um, your son to marry my daughter. Are you still interested in that? Then the mother of Zubair said, hmm, we don't want to marry our son to your daughter because we are scared if you married your daughter, you might turn into a Muslim and we are not ready for that. We don't want our son to become a Muslim. Abu Bakr Siddiq turned to the father. I'm asking you a question like, are you with what your wife just said? Then the husband said, yes, I'm with my wife. I'm with her on what she has said. Then he returned happily back home, knowing that Aisha is now free and he did not break any promise made to for someone that wants to marry his daughter. So he accepted the proposal of the prophet and told Khawla bin Til Hakim to inform the prophet about it and to invite the prophet to their house. So Khawla bin Til Hakim went back to the prophet to invite him to his friend's house. So when Khawla went there, the prophet came and all of them, and they became, they did the engagement. So at this age, Aisha was six years old. They did the engagement. Aisha was engaged to the prophet. And after the engagement, um, Khawla also went to Soda's house. Khola went to her house to inform her parents too about the 
the proposal of the prophet and prophet Muhammad married Soda, which made Soda bin to Zama, the second wife of the prophet. But he engaged Aisha first. Aisha was the first person that he engaged before Soda bin to Zama. But Soda was the second wife of the prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So after Aisha became nine years old, the prophet married her and she became the third wife of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that was how they got married and how she became the third wife of the prophet so in my next video inshallah i'm going to be discussing about the misconceptions about aisha getting married to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so thank you so much for watching jazakumullahu khairan wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh